Greetings! Today another uh, another product from China, People's Republic of everything inexpensive, uh, a multimeter. So uh, which came? This is how it came packaged. It was just in a bubble wrap, uh, no cardboard box. Uh, not for the not for this price. Uh, and we got a, a pair of leads, which we'll get to. And uh, yeah, the cardboard box was replaced with just a Ziploc bag. So we've got the device itself and an extensive uh, manual, as you can see. The instrument is one of the series of pocket-sized three and a half digit multimeters for measuring DC and AC voltage, DC current, resistance and diode. Some of those also provide temperature transistor measurement and audible continuity test functions or can be used as a signal generator or battery tester. Wow. Uh, full range overload protection and low voltage battery indication are provided. They are ideal instruments for the use in fields such as labo laboratory, workshop, hobby and home applications. Well, just the thing I needed, I guess. Uh, now, this cost, uh, the cost of this device was uh, just over a pound, pound and a few pence. Um, Yes, read and understand this manual before using the instrument. Okay, I think we understand uh, what it is. So let's have a look at the actual device. So, first of all, this caught my attention because it uh, it looks different than your usual uh, made in China uh, multimeter. So it's not uh, not the usual yellow uh, horrible thing. You know what I mean. Um, this one on the picture it looks quite nice so even on video it it looks uh, you know the, the gray plastic and blue writing and the size that uh, you would you may think looking at a, at a picture that this is actually a soft rubber but no trust me it's not um, but yeah I thought uh, I thought to myself let's uh, let's give it a go well, I need another cheap meter because uh, you can never have enough cheap meters around you, but uh, let's uh, let's see what's inside, uh, how it works, and uh, and and what we can get out of this. So uh, before before I take it apart, it's got a stand which is uh, reasonable, but <laughs> it's the the actual uh, uh, switch knob over here is. Uh, very small so if i if i was to operate this one-handed it it runs away from me it's kind of it's kind of difficult oh let's see now i promise you i'm just trying to switch this switch this on <laughs> no it's not possible uh with one hand what if it's... No, I'm, I'm applying quite a bit of pressure and no, that's not gonna happen. So we need to hold it in two hands to turn it around and um, the, the, the turning knob uh, gives the usual uh, quality feel of uh, cheap plastic. Um, so that's uh, as expected. Um, this, uh, this this unit is uh, equipped with a hold function, which is just a clanking switch. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is. Uh, I mean, with a hold, yeah, okay. Well, you can you can still freeze what's on display, I guess. Um, it's got a, a backlight function, which is a micro switch. Um, it's got the usual horrible and useless uh, transistor tester. And the volts, uh, volts range from 200 millivolts uh, up to 500 volts, <laughs> if you're brave enough. Uh, AC volts, uh, 500, 200 uh, milliamps and one and a half volt battery on the same setting, so I'm not sure how that works. Uh, amps, 2 milliamps to up to 10 amps, again, if you're brave enough. And buzzer and 200 to 2 mega ohm uh, range so 
yeah, the, the usual uh, usual thing. Uh, by the way, this is provided without uh, a battery. So uh, I'm going to show you a trick in a moment how to double the value of this device. Um, so uh, bear with me. But for now, let's have a look inside, open it up and see what, uh, what we see. Of course, uh, quality uh, quality screws, uh, self-tapping ones, and uh, and the ones of the uh, the worst kind. So very very thin uh, thread on it, very shallow, and uh, yeah, you get the idea. Battery uh, compartment, and one to three screws to to hold the. Whole thing together. Let's have a look what's what's in. Okay, and there we go. The moment of truth. Okay, fantastic. So, interest. Interestingly. No makes a, uh, a little bit of a sound uh, when tapped but have a look in here someone left a signature inside the box inside the mold it says K star uh, how can I show this and this is not uh, printed this looks like it's a uh, hand engraved hand uh, there you go now you can see it. It says K E hyphen star, key star. Maybe uh, that was meant to be key sight. Uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe they just made a spelling error, and this is a uh, secretly uh, produced by someone else. Anyways, uh, back to this. Uh, of course, you can see the usual arrangement. So the uh, the actual plugs for the um, uh, banana jacks. Yeah, they're well, they're they are being held in place pretty much just by the solder uh, that they've been soldered with. So uh, not uh, too great, I guess. Um, over here, you can see the long leads left off of uh, an LED. That's um, because this has got a backlight. So uh, behind here. That's the LCD screen and the LED provides a backlight, there's just an uh, acrylic light pipe uh, behind the LCD, so that's uh, simple enough. I'm just wondering why they haven't trimmed the leads, but maybe it's just quicker to bend them over. The board is held with some more self-tapping screws. Okay, uh, clever design. So one of the screws holding the board has got a dual purpose. It also holds the buzzer in place, which is in its own uh, plastic enclosure, uh, which is nice. Uh, I mean, they could have super glued it uh, to the side, but no, uh, they did put actually a, uh, a nice plastic casing for, for the buzzer. There we go. So, Bear in mind, one screw is a tiny bit longer. So, having a look at the board, well, that's the uh, backlight contraption. It's just this. This is pretty much just a piece of acrylic, uh, a bit of silver tape wrapped around it, and uh, some disper uh, dispersing piece of. Uh, white plastic on on each side and that that's that's all there is to it uh, here is the transistor tester which is soldered only on three and a half pins <laughs> that's funny uh, bear with me macro Macro time. So, this is the lens. I'm just gonna stick it on. 
and we'll get to look at things close up. Right, so you see what I mean by three and a half pins. So you can see the, the four middle pins on the uh, transistor tester connector that they're not soldered at all. Um, the two on the right appear to be soldered. The one on the top left appears to be soldered and the one on the bottom left it's half soldered. I mean there is like a, a little splash of solder on one side but that's about it. So what I think they're uh, trying to achieve here is a new technology uh, where they rely on just uh, metal to metal contact between the uh, pins on the uh, on the connector and uh, the via uh, via uh, in in between the two sides of the board I guess so yeah uh, fantastic. Uh, Got to be careful with this because I've just bent over uh, the, the high quality banana plug connectors. Anyways, let's have a look at this little chip over here. Has it got any markings? No, I think this one is completely anonymous. And it looks like uh, it's been hand soldered. Probably was, to be honest, but. It doesn't matter. Um, it's so yeah, I'm 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 joking about the quality of this. I mean, what do you expect uh, for a pound or so? Uh, but yeah, this one I'm not sure what to think of it. I, I mean, I guess as long as it works and you can measure resistance and continuity with it, then I guess it's fine uh, for that price. Uh, this uh, this little wire here that this is the current shunt so this is for measuring the 10 amps so this is uh, is that the middle in is the com yeah so the the, the middle connector is com uh, common one and when you're measuring uh, 10 amps uh, this it will go through this track over here uh, which is also stitched up to the back track to increase the current uh, um, decrease, the re decrease, decrease the resistance and increase the um, current capacity for the track and it, it goes uh, over to this now clearly what they've done there is an, a splodge of solder on this so what they've done is uh, this must have been too high of a resistance so they, it needs to be uh, trimmed so if it's uh, when you when using this if, if uh, the current shunt uh, wire has got too much resistance you too high resistance you put a splodge of solder on it and that will um, lower the resistance down to um, what you want or if it was uh, too low resistance then you take your uh, wire cutters and slight produce a slight cut on it um, just squeeze the metal a little bit uh, somewhere along the line and that will increase the resistance and that's that's how you trim those things um, What else is on here? Uh, a cap. So there's nothing there really. Um, just a, a splodged chip, a nameless chip, a diode, a couple of resistors, a pot for uh, some reason a, a couple of uh, couple of transistors over here and and two switches and, and, and that's it. Colstar ELEC KM88013110131011 There is a place for fuse but the fuse is strangely not fitted I've just noticed. Um, so has it... what's happening with the fuse? I mean if there's no fuse then it shouldn't uh, there shouldn't be any continuity unless one of the components on the board is provisioned to to be put in place uh, instead of a fuse maybe often like a resistor or something um, but let's see ah I know check this out the fuse is built into the uh, to the truck so you see this appears as a 
as a fuse um, it says uh, a fuse footprint uh, I guess uh, 250 milliamps uh, 250 volts but check this out there is this truck going off of here as a tiny little narrow truck and it, then it becomes bigger and it goes all the way around to the other pad and this directly connects the pad so this section of wire here this is what uh, works as a fuse so if this blows I guess you can solder a fuse into uh, into here instead and make it work again uh, but yeah this this little piece of uh, copper truck is designed to be a fuse so okay another cost uh, cost cutting this is what I was uh, on about when I said we're gonna double the value of this so by doubling a value of this we, I meant we're gonna put a battery in from pound shop um, so at least it's an alkaline battery um, but that should uh, get this alive and we can proceed with having a feel of uh, what what this actually does and uh, Another thing worth noting, it's interesting um, how creatively uh, the marking on this has been applied, the Aneng uh, brand, I guess, and the model A8300L, it's at a distinct angle from the screen, so yes, it just looks like someone was stamping it with, uh, uh, with those markings. Um, the the model actually when I was bidding for it on eBay, uh, this actually this was not present at all or on the picture that was provided with the item. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I kind of liked it more uh, without without this. So I might try maybe a little bit with acetone or something to remove it. But anyways, let's let's get the battery out. apply the power oh, the battery fits uh, quite snugly so it's not going to make any rattling noises which is nice to avoid electrical shock remove test leads before replacing battery or opening case uh, this is what we have on the battery cover I guess this refers to if you were trying to replace the battery while this is plugged into the main socket um, yeah uh, but anyways there we go the big moment ah, we've got something on the screen amazing so Okay, we're in the volts range, ohms, diode. Okay. Okay, let's plug up. Plug the leads in. By the way, those leads are as horrible as you can imagine. And number one, they're quite small. Uh, they do have a 1000 volt marking on it and a double insulated symbol, whatever that should mean with this. Uh, it's got a piece of metal exposed on here, so. I'm not entirely sure what uh, what they mean by that and the plugs have got a little bit of sleeve on here but yeah you know it is as horrible as as you'd expect It's surprisingly responsive, actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, how will it do with measuring up? 
1.5 volts I, I think this battery might be still okay so okay you see you know what it's it's actually quite quick it, it comes up to uh, comes up to the value reasonably quick let's have a look at the at the buzzer <laughs> that is just fantastic. Oh, now it started. Oh, yeah. but... It's it's not the buzzer is not large. Then it's got all that horrible squeaky noise when as you're sliding it through the metal. This is like a torture. But anyways. I think it's still faster than uh, the VC99, uh, another cheap uh, multimeter, um, but that one sounds a lot better. Okay. Right, let's uh, let's try to light up some LEDs and see um, if this is capable of lighting up an LED. Let's start with a red one. Okay, it does come on. Let's try this one. Oh, that's red too, actually, and it does come on as well. The LED comes on, but unfortunately there is nothing on the display. Will the green one come on? Oh, right now I can see. So it comes on, but barely so. Yellow one. There we go, yellow one also comes on, but again, almost, uh, almost doesn't. Okay, so on 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 resistance is quite uh, responsive, uh, but on on the diode, it it doesn't measure up that that high. So let's see. There you go, 0 0.6 and 0 0.67. It's you know it's reasonably quick. There we go. That's an evil transistor. It was 666 for a moment. No, it's almost evil. Um, oh, almost forgot. So the hold and the backlight. So backlight. This is how it looks like. You press it on, and it's really, really bright. Uh, as a backlight, this is actually excellent. Uh, I mean, from if this uh, lies down on on a table, uh, from my view angle, the visibility of the digits is perfect. So, in that sense, it's actually really good. Um, and the backlight dims out uh, after a while. I'm not sure, five, six seconds, which is nice. Ten. And it goes off slowly, and it's gone. And the hold. So let's let's have a look. So let's put it in millivolts and touch it to my fingers, and hold. A little H symbol comes up on the LCD, and that's all it does. Just holds the value. So. A little bit flimsy, but yeah, okay. But yeah, uh, a cheap little meter. Okay, I guess 
for a pound I got my money worth and yeah that will uh, that will be handy I just need to make sure uh, that I don't plug it in into anything too uh, energetic and yeah it's you know, it was worth a pound I guess okay if you if you like the video uh, please uh, do click like and subscribe for more uh, random videos and that's it for this one take care and it turns on the acetone does the trick with the uh, ugly prints on the front uh, face of this you just gotta be careful because it dissolves the plastic too hey